At first, I think maybe I was just so focused on trying to become at a certain level. The feeling down here is electric. That I didn't really think about what I was doing. So it's something I've been reflecting a lot on afterwards. That's something I'm trying to take with me in my everyday life. That's definitely helped to shape who I am today. Really started to enjoy just the everyday training and the everyday life. Going out running and biking and swimming. In the winter it has some limitations. But then once you are in it and hearing your own breath. It's like you are, have a much clearer vision on what's going on. Maybe when you are at home, you don't think about that. But once you are out there alone, then you really get to reflect on, on some, some things. It was in 2018. I was very motivated to prove myself in a professional field for the first time. I had the pro license. And so we signed up for my first professional event. In one week prior to the race, I was riding my TT bike on a downhill. Suddenly a car drove directly in front of me. I went into the side of the car. I broke my collarbone and shoulder and the right arm. The way the collarbone was broken was not like it normally breaks. If I was just maybe two seconds later and then I might have ended up in a wheelchair. They said in no way you can be competitive in future. I remember it clearly when they told me I was in the hospital bed and it was as if everything went black. When the doctors left the room, I thought, that is not true. So I walked down the corridor in the hospital because I had seen that there was a bike. And then I sat there. Now that I couldn't swim or run, I had to prove to myself that I still could still uh, at least do something. Now I was just alone. I was able to have like a big ball uh, leaning on with my arm and then I could still ride on a stationary trainer. So for the next, I think I counted it to 125 days. I must do everything I can to become the best possible bike rider. No one should limit how I'm living my life and I want to do what, what I want to do. And I had so many goals in the sport. I like challenges. We could see the numbers in that period, they just uh, rose. I quite quickly, I started getting motivated by it. It was as if I saw all the, the hard times go by. Many of the top athletes are just, they have something inside them that just drives them forward. It's just about being able to yeah, push. We are all evolving. That's definitely helped to shape who I am today.